Lots of you said you loved the racing game we made last time. And today, we're going to create a world for all our games. Welcome to the Whiz Kids Digital Skills Virtual Classroom. Let's call up PJ for a lesson on how to build a world for our games. Welcome to my village in Kodu. And if you just have a quick look around here, you can see we have a lot going on, which is fantastic. We have a nice little river flowing through our world here. We have a few houses in our village. We have a little road network, an abundance of trees. And at the very, very corner of our world, we have a little mountain top with a couple of clouds as well. So you can create some really, really cool worlds inside Kodu. So what we're going to do now in this lesson is just strip it all back and start off from scratch. So to start our project here, the first thing we're going to do is import a hut. Let's go to add object. Let's go to import and hut. Here we go. And the reason why we're importing a hut is a hut is quite big and it's going to give us a sense of perspective now once we make our world a little bit bigger. Now to make your world bigger, go to your brush tool and I want you to click on the right arrow on your keyboard, make your brush that bit bigger. About this big maybe okay and I'm just gonna make my brush smaller again so as you can see now my hut is a fairly big size so what I want to do here is have a bit of water in my world but before I import the water I'm gonna raise all of the world itself to do that you click on this tool here hills and valleys go to its brush and you've got loads of different types of brushes here but the one we need is this magic brush so we're gonna press enter there as you can see the whole world now is selected I'm just gonna tap left click tap it again and all of the world is raised. So I'm going to go back and change my brush to a medium round brush. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is there's going to be a certain section on my world here that I'm going to lower now. So if you right click, you'll see that a whole area of your world now can be lowered, which is great. And the reason why this is important for me is because I'm going to come over here, I'm going to zoom in here, left click, and I'm adding some water which is brilliant. So now we have a bit of water in our world, which is great. So the next thing I'm going to do, guys, then is let's add a little bit of a road network here. So I'm going to click on my brush tool. I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And I'm going to choose a right terrain for it. So a nice gray for the road. And if you hold the shift key while you're drawing, you won't draw outside of the world that's already there. So I'm just going to hold left click here. And you'll see now drawing a nice bit of road here. It's going to come up here near the house, up and off into the corner, which is perfect. So now I've got my hut attached to the road here. I'm just going to quickly pull it out here and rotate it, which is great. And then I'm just going to add maybe a little bit of brown around the outside, maybe for a bit of earth or something. And you'll see now that there we go. That's fantastic. And then we can decorate our world then by just placing some random trees, maybe. So I'm going to add object and let's add a nice tree, which is great. And I'm going to copy that one, maybe place a couple of them around the world. And suddenly you can start to see your Kodu world come alive. Lovely trees around the landscape that don't have to be the same kind of tree. You can change them, which is brilliant. And then maybe inside our water here, you can have some fish as well. So if we go to add some sprites here and we select the fish and you'll see we have a little fish in our world here and we can copy and paste that fish around here. That's perfect. So have a quick spin around our world here and we have a pretty, pretty cool Kodu world here completed in just a few minutes. PJ is such a great teacher. I think that was an amazing lesson. Join us on the 13th of June for Crinion and Oak Day as we all go coding for Crinion!